Hi, my name is Joe Weggett and I'm the Managing Director of Metal Polishing Supplies UK Limited. Um, today I'm just going to briefly show you our polishing system and uh, how to use our products um, on a bench grinder and how to convert a bench grinder into a polishing machine. What we have to do first is obviously make sure that your bench grinder is secured to your workbench. It is essential that this is done um, as if you don't, your bench grinder is going to walk off the, uh, the bench. What we have to do first of all is remove the outer guard on the bench grinder, like so, removing the screws. We then need to remove the lock nut from the machine and the washers. We then remove the inner screws, like that. Make sure you keep everything together. Right, what we have is spindle adapters that then fit onto the bench grinder, obviously left hand side and a right hand side. Here I have my right hand spindle adapter which I'm going to fit onto the shaft now. This is attached onto the shaft with a grub screw um, which holds it onto the shaft and secures it in place so that it doesn't come off. What we're going to do is basically show you how to attach the mops to your spindle adapter. You have the face of the mop and you have the back of the mop. The back of the mop is where the nails or the screws are tightened into it. On the front you have the heads, the heads face on the outside. And literally all you do is turn the mop onto the shaft like that and you're ready to go. Our basic range of, of polishing mops include sisal polishing mop which is hard and used for first cut and flattening on, on metals. We have the colour stitch mop, which is used for um, first cut as well with certain compounds, um, also used for finishing on soft metals. And then we have the G loose fold polishing mop, which is used for final finishing. We also have abrasive mops, which you can utilise before polishing. Secret to polishing is preparation. Preparation is the name of the game. We also have a range of compounds for aluminium, for steel and for stainless steel. The brown and the blue compounds are used for aluminium, brown for the first cut, blue for final finishing. For the, stainless, for the steel and the stainless steel side, we have the black, the green and the white. Black being first cut, green being finishing for steel and white for final finishing on stainless steel. We also do Vienna Lime, which is used to do your final polish. What this does, Vienna Lime takes off grease, finger marks and makes the piece look like it's been finished properly. Right, so what we're going to do now is I am going to show you basically how to apply compound to a mop. The secret to it is little and often. You don't need to load the mop up with lots of compound because all it's going to do is throw it back out at you. So little and often, um, what we'll do is we'll start with the brown compound. I do have a piece underneath here somewhere of aluminium. This is just a little bit of a foot plate um, and we'll show you how we go from that. As you can see, I haven't done any preparation on this piece at the moment, so it's relatively dirty and doesn't look really nice. So what we do, first of all, turn your machine on and you're going to get a bit of fluff shooting off. What you do, you get your brown compound and you position it at about the four o'clock position. You get your piece. So that's what I've been able to achieve, literally just from basics. What we'll do now is use a color stitch mop again, making sure that it's put onto the spindle adapter the right way with the head facing out. And for this we're going to use the blue compound. So what you'll see is that it's now giving you a dull shine. This is where you then use your cloth and the Vienna line, you then take the cloth you 
you wipe it off and you get a mirror for a nash. And that's how you do aluminium. Okay, so what we have here is a very old hammer with a steel head on it. I'm going to work on a part of the head here so you can see a before and after. Obviously, like I say, preparation is the name of the game. I'm just going to use the um, satin web mops just to get uh, some of the rust and get, get a face on, on, the, um, on the steel. So, before and after. Quick, simple, easy, with the right compounds and the right mops. Everything we sell comes with instructions to do um, polishing, uh, be it uh, aluminium, brass, copper, stainless steel, steel. We also do uh, polishing uh, kits for jewellery. Um, and with the bench grinder, you also get the instructions as to how to convert the bench grinder into a polishing kit. All these products and more are available on our website at www.metalpolishingsupplies.co.uk. Give us a visit and if you need any information or any more details on our products, give us a call on 0800 988 7020.